Hello and thank you for joining me today at Community Kitchens at Home Edition. My name is Pauline and welcome to my kitchen. Now before we begin, let's take 20 to 30 seconds and wash our hands with some warm water and soap. For today's recipe, you will need 12 slices of your favorite lunch meat, 12 slices of your favorite cheese, 12 eggs, salt and pepper to taste, diced tomatoes, peppers, onions, bacon, etc., any toppings that you like, 12 English muffins, cooking spray, or oil. As mornings can be quite hectic trying to get a good breakfast into everyone before we head out the door, I've got a 45 minute recipe here that you can prepare on the weekend, freeze, and pull out of the freezer as you need it for breakfast during the week. We're going to start with a muffin tin that we sprayed down with cooking spray or with some oil. And we are going to insert a piece of our favorite lunch meat into each cup. If you find the lunch meat tears or is too thin, feel free to double up on the meat. We want to make a cup that the egg will stay and cook in nicely. This is a very basic recipe, so get creative and make this your family's favorite go-to breakfast on those busy mornings. You can make it vegetarian by omitting the last step and putting the egg directly into the muffin tin. If your family has favorite toppings that they enjoy on their omelets, dice it up thin and add to the prepared cup before you add in your egg. Once you have your eggs broken into the cup, make sure to season well with salt and pepper or any of your favorite herb toppings. Here's a pro tip. If you have someone in your house like I do who doesn't like to eat egg yolks, simply take your eggs, crack them into a cup, mix together with a whisk or a fork, salt and pepper to taste, and then pour into the cups. You can also use the prepackaged egg substitutes that you find in the grocery store. Once your eggs are cooked, take your English muffin and using a fork on the side where the natural line is, open your English muffin. Add on your favorite toppings such as cheese and possibly a hash brown. Reassemble your sandwich and then place on a baking sheet and put into the freezer for about an hour. Then wrap each sandwich individually in plastic wrap and store the wrapped sandwiches in a freezer safe bag. In the morning when you're in a hurry, take it out, place it in a microwave until soft. To catch new episodes, make sure you go to Algoma Family Services Facebook page. And if you want to see some other episodes, head on over to YouTube, Algoma Family Services, and you can see lots there. Hope to see you next time.